I love Belgium. I love their style. It's a combination of both elegant and earthy. In fact, it's what inspired the barn. And when I go there, I love a restaurant called Pan Quotidien, and they had the most incredible sandwich when I went, and it was tuna salad with hummus. And I thought, that's the bizarrest combination I ever heard. But when I ate it, I thought, it's absolutely delicious. So that's what I'm making today. I'm starting with good tuna, and it's Italian tuna packed in olive oil. I just find it has really good flavor. I need 14 ounces. One of the nice things about the sandwich is everything tastes better if you make it a little ahead of time. I've already made the hummus, and now I'm making the tuna salad. I'm just gonna drain the tuna. I want a little bit of the oil, but not all of it. Okay, into a big bowl to mix it all together. I'm just gonna flake it a little bit. Now I'm just gonna add some really good ingredients. They're sort of classic tuna ingredients, but with the volume turned up. So the first thing is a quarter of a cup of chopped celery. Then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of chopped onion. This is just a yellow onion. Two tablespoons of chopped cornichon. It's got that sort of nice vinegary thing going. Instead of pickles, I think cornichon are really nice. So just big rough chop. This is not like a fancy French dish that needs a perfect chop. And now because I also like the sour part of it, a little bit of lemon. Two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I'm just gonna do it through the strainer so we don't get seeds in it. There's something about fish and lemon that goes together. Why not in tuna salad? Okay, now I need a few things to make it moist. So I'm gonna use two tablespoons of the oil that the tuna came in, because that's got great flavor, but I don't want all of it. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise, just enough to bind it. One teaspoon of mustard. I use Dijon mustard. Half a teaspoon of salt. Make sure it has great flavor. A quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. Just gonna mix that all together. Now the secret to really good tuna is the flavors really develop if you let them sit for a little while in the fridge. They sort of blend together. Okay, into the fridge. Like tuna, the hummus actually is much better when it sits in the fridge for a while. Flavors really develop. You can buy hummus, but it's so much better when you make it yourself. Drain two cups of canned chickpeas and reserve the liquid. Then put the chickpeas into the bowl of a food processor fitted with a steel blade and add two tablespoons of the reserved liquid. Add a third of a cup of tahini, which is a paste made from ground sesame seeds. It's delicious and nutty. Add four cloves of minced garlic and six tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. That's gonna be about three lemons. Now for a real kick, eight dashes of Tabasco sauce, or as much as you can stand, and two teaspoons of kosher salt. Process the hummus until it's moist and thick and coarsely pureed, and that's it. Okay, a couple of hours in the fridge, and I'm ready to make sandwiches.